when you distill down what the objective of the airline business is, we're in the business of transporting people from where they want to go from uh, to where they want to go to. And to move somebody with a minimum of disruption for the, the best fare that you can offer them really is, is the driving factor that, that governs how we make decisions. Um, looking back, I mean, it's been, it's been six or seven years since I was last in the operator's chair uh, at an airline. And having now the luxury of, of being in a software company where we look at data and we try to make sense of what's happening across the industry, one of the things that comes across very clearly is how much the airlines have improved in operational performance, and particularly in operational efficiency over the last six years. When you think about why, it's, it's not hard to figure out. Uh, six, seven years ago, fuel was a relatively low portion of your ticket. In other words, the, the, the amount of money that you paid the airline that the airline then spent on fuel to transport you was a fraction of what it is today. Um, the airlines, as a result of restructuring and combinations and, and other, other changes at a structural level, um, have still seen the amount of money that they get to retain out of the ticket price that you're paying go down significantly because so much more is going out in fuel. And that creates a pressure to become much more efficient on the operations side. Uh, in the end, the total amount of money that we can charge as an industry is governed by the economy. There's not a lot you can do about you know, changing people's willingness to pay, even by tweaking the product. What matters is your ability to control the costs that you can't predict. Um, and when you get down to operations, the art today of being a more efficient uh, airline is the ability to fly your schedule as precisely as possible, to minimize the amount of waste that comes from delays and cancellations, and to minimize the disruptions that you cause passengers. In the end, those are the factors that matter, and those are critical reasons why, as an industry, we've been able to, to really accelerate the improvement in on-time performance uh, and other key metrics over the last several years.